Boots, light, and narrows hair. This potion recipe will make you aware. And let's add a custom potion recipe to Minecraft. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below. With over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. Alright, oh, back in the normal mode. In this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom potion including a custom potion recipe, by the way, to our Minecraft mod over here. And yes, I like, listen, I said that the, that the intros, they're going to get more and more unhinged as we continue this series, okay? By the time we're in, you know, in the, in the world gen stuff, you won't even know that it's me anymore, okay? I'm gonna be speaking in a whole other language. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna be making these tutorials in German. I'm kidding, okay? That's not gonna happen. But whatever the case may be, a custom potion. Now you will find a custom potion is Super freaking easy, especially if you have a custom effect already implemented. Uh, obviously, that's kind of a prerequisite. Otherwise, like, why would you add another potion? Like, it doesn't make any sense because that's, you know, they have to have an effect associated with it. Whatever the case may be, though, it's very straightforward. So in the tutorial mode package, we're going to right click new package called potion. And inside of there, what we're going to do is one new job class, and that's going to be the mod potions class. There we go. And that's going to look kind of like this. It's going to have a public static Final a deferred register, of course, of type potion. And this is going to be potions equal to the deferred register that create. This is forge registries dot potions. And of course, tutorial mod mod ID. As always, all of the code is available down below as well. So you can check it out there. And we also have an register method over here with an I event bus. I'm going to say potions that register passing in that event bus over here. So basically the general way of setting up a, a class that has something to register. That mod potions class, mod potions that register will then be called right here in our tutorial mod constructor. And then we can register our potion. Now this is going to be super freaking easy. It's going to be a public static final registry object of type potion. And it's going to be our slimy underscore potion for our slimy effect, obviously equal to potions that register. The name here is also slimy underscore potion. The second parameter is a supplier of a new potion with a new mob effect instance passing in mod effects dot slimy effect dot get holder dot get comma. Then you need to define the duration. In this case, we're going to do 10 seconds. This is going to be a 200 here and an amplifier of zero. That is the slimy potion added basically immediately. If we were to go into the game, it would already be inside of the game in the potions tab. Because when you create a new potion, that gets added automatically. You can also take a look at the potion. And let's say, for example, where is this? In the potions class. Crazy enough. But in the potions class, you can actually see all of the different potions as well. Highly recommended for you to check this out. Obviously, the duration here is a little bit higher on those, right? We could change this up as well. But basically, when it comes to any of the numbers, they can be changed so easily that obviously you can change those numbers to whatever you want. But yeah, that is the slimy potion added. Let's add the translation because that's actually quite important because there's a, well, a little bit of a different thing here. And that is, it kind of looks like this. Basically, the potions are registered under item Minecraft because they get auto registered via Minecraft. So one thing that could be an issue is that if another mod adds another slimy potion and they name it exactly slimy potion then there could be possibly some clashes it's very unlikely however what you could do in theory is add your mod id to the name right here because this name obviously is shown nowhere not really to the player and even if it is i mean does it matter if it's called tutorial mod underscore slimy underscore potion not really i'm just saying that is a consideration for you Otherwise, that is the important thing here. The color of the potion will be taken from the color of the effect over here. that we're giving the mod effect right here. That is also going to be the color of the particles, obviously. And that is taken from there. And then the question is, but, Kautmundro, you might ask, how do I add a brewing recipe? Well, I'm glad you asked because we're going to go into our mod events class. This is the mod events class that is for the forge bus, very importantly. And not for the client, but for, well, both in theory, but like for the server and the client. And here we're going to make a public static void on brewing recipe register method. This is going to have a brewing recipe register event called event. And of course, as always, add the add subscribe event annotation above the method. Very important. It needs to be public, static and void. It needs to have the subscribe event annotation above it. And then the brewing recipe register event as a parameter, 
highly recommend it. Go down to the description. There is a GitHub repository with all of the code as always available. And there you go. Inside of here, we'll have a potion brewing dot recipe. No, a potion brewing dot builder. I'm going to call this the builder. This is going to be equal to event dot get builder. And then we're simply going to say builder dot add mix. The first parameter here is going to be, as you can see, the input. There's going to be potions dot awkward. The input is the reagent. This is the item items dot slime ball. And the last one is the result mod uh, mod potions dot slimy potion dot get holder dot get. Done. That's it. That's all we need to do. No custom classes anymore. Nothing like that. It all works via this event. Absolutely freaking fantastic. And with this done, literally, we can just jump into the game and brew if it works. All right, friends, back in Minecraft. And I have some awkward potions right here. I'm going to put them in. And then I'm going to take the slime ball. And look at this. Look at this freaking thing going. And of course, it's going to take a little while. But with the power of editing. We're almost done, and what we can see is, of course, we're going to get some freaking slimy potions. How cool is this? I would say it is very cool, and of course, we're going to get the slimy effect applied to our character, and of course, it works totally fine, exactly like we would expect it to. And you can even see that it says when applied, it's going to give you a minus 25% of speed boost. That is, of course, the attribute modifier that we've added to our slimy effect last tutorial. That is absolutely amazing, and that is custom effects and custom potions, including a potion recipe, added to Minecraft. Awesome. And that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll add a custom painting or even multiple ones. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.